Patricia Hersey's book, Rest is Resistance and Manifesto, she proposes this as the solution to our resting problems. The distinction that must be repeated as many times as necessary is this. We are not resting to be productive. We are resting simply because it is our divine right to do so. I feel someone like me. When I first heard this, I was like, what? Divine right, me, divine right. It is my divine right to rest. I am not royalty. Like my, I, I think I'm royalty, but my, my bank account would definitely disagree with that. Bankruptcy! Think about it like this. You ever had a free day? I don't wanna work. Like time to yourself where you could literally do anything you wanted to do. You could fire up the PlayStation. You could, you know, sit down and just read a book. You could sleep all day if you wanted to. But then you decided to instead think about all the work that you have to do, all the things that, you know, you know you should have done ages ago, but you didn't get around to doing it. And then that just pops to the forefront of your mind. Right, you just start thinking about that stuff and then you don't rest. You're just sitting there overthinking. Most of us know just how important rest can be for both our mental and our physical health. And so we know it's important. And yet, even though we take the time, we feel guilty taking the time for ourselves. Why do we do this? I think it's mainly for two reasons. One, it's a reward for working hard. And two, it's a means to work harder. We take holidays when we feel like, you know, we need to take a break or, you know, we deserve one. And so it's about time that we took a holiday. We spend some time away so then we can come back stronger, better than ever. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's like there has to be a certain condition for us to take rest. And if you're taking rest as a means to work harder later on, then, yo, hurry up and, you know, chill out and relax and all that so you can get back to work quickly, eh? Like it's like you're you're rushing to rest. You don't rush to rest. When I've taken the time to like really reflect on this, like if we really think about it, I think it's because you know our mind and our body just isn't thinking about the present moment. It's like the mind is trying to get ahead of itself. And so we just need to slow down just for a little bit, like just take it easy. So where do we go from here? This is a very short video, but I'm hoping that you're finding it a little bit helpful because I want you to think about things like this moving forward. My encouragement to you as someone who struggles to rest but is learning how to, is to learn how to slow down a little bit and tune in to your mind and body. It takes a bit of self-awareness, but you can do it, right? And then ask yourself, what is it that you need now? Do you need to take a break, right? Do you need to take a little bit of time off? Do you need to put things on the back burner for a little while? Because sometimes these things are okay. We just need to reframe how we think about it. Let me give you an example. You doing the bare minimum and not trying as hard anymore isn't the same as you, you know, stepping off the gas a little bit and just putting the car in cruise control, right? In other words, recognizing that you need a little bit of time just to relax a little. You procrastinating and not managing your time effectively isn't the same as you recognizing that, hey, maybe you took a little bit too much on. You know, and you can't do everything, right? You can do a lot of things, but, you know, maybe you've recognized a couple of your own limits and then you see how, you know, you've said yes too many times and maybe you need to pull back on a few things. And my favorite one, one that I've been connecting with a lot is you're not quitting if you're just pressing pause for a little bit, even if it's for a long period of time. You're not, you're taking a break. You don't have to power through everything in your life. I'm saying this more to myself than I am uh, really to anyone else. But, um, but yeah, I think definitely start taking things a little bit slower. And I get it. Taking the time to slow down and think about the solutions and think about what we need may feel like it's a really hard thing to do because life is really fast and we got to get out there and do all these things, achieve all these goals, right? Go to school, go to work, study, and do, we have to do all these things. And so we might feel like, man, we don't have the space, we don't have the time for it. And like, you know, I get it, but we still have to think about this in a way that serves us well, because then we're gonna just go through life and not really count the wins, not really look back and connect the dots along the way and see how far we've come. When we practice resting at this individual level, like within ourselves, right, in our own lives, however that looks like, right? we can feel calmer, we can feel more energetic, 
right? We can feel happier, not for any particular reasons other than for the sake of feeling karma, for the sake of being more energetic in our lives and for the sake of being happier, just so we live better. And we feel more, we can do more, you know? That's really, that's really all it is. If you're feeling tired and a bit exhausted recently, make sure you check out this video right here. That might be quite helpful, um, especially if you're experiencing things like burnout. And if you don't know what that is, make sure you check this out and it'll show you ways on how you can manage it as well. And don't forget, please make sure that you like the video if you enjoyed it and you subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend or a family member if you feel like they would benefit from this. And I hope you have a great night, a great day, a great morning, great afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later, my friends. Bye-bye.